let us talk about the first type of optimizer that is rule based optimizer or rbo rbo is deprecated in later versions of oracle and the development has stopped since 10g however i have still decided to include rbo in this session so that we can visualize the difference between the latest optimizer that is cbo which is the cost based optimizer and what advantages it has over the rbo so what exactly happens in rbo in rbo the optimizer chooses an execution plan based on the access paths available and the ranks of these access path so these are the 15 different access path available in the rbo and each access path has a rank associated with it for example the access path single row by row id which is nothing but accessing a specific row using an index has a rank of 1 single row by cluster join access path has a rank of 2 and so on and the last access path is the full table scan which has a rank of 15 now if there are more than one way to execute a sql statement then the rbo always uses the operation with the lower rank usually the operation of lower rank execute faster than those associated with the higher rank what this means is if an sql statement has two ways to execute in the query that is via single row by row id or via using a full table scan the optimizer will pick single row by row id as the access path because it has the lowest rank that is 1 as compared to the full table scan whose rank is the highest that is 15. Let me take an example of this. There is a query say select star from employees where employee id is equal to 100. Now we know that the employee id is a primary key in the employees table so it is going to qualify for only one row. Now this statement can be executed using single row by row id access path and also by full table scan access path. Now since we are interested in only one row employee ID equal to 100 and also the rank of single row by row ID which is 1 is lower than the full table scan that is 15 the optimizer will pick the access path single row by row ID in this case as well. Now there is also an associated downfall with RPO say for example this is a statement called as select star from employees where gender is equal to M. In this case, it is a possibility that the query will qualify for around 50% of your table rows. Now, as we know, if an index is used to qualify or access more than 15% of your table rows, then it is going to take a little longer time to execute as compared to a full table scan. Now, in this case, since the query qualifies for 50% of your rows, Oracle will still pick the single row by row ID access path in case of an RBO as compared to the full table scan because the access path single row by row id has a lower rank and this will lead your query to run for a longer time in this case using full table scan would have led the oracle to execute the query much faster now let's see why do we have to move from rbo to cbo there are some limitations associated with the rbo first one is the rbo cannot take advantages of newer access methods that is index fast full scan or technologies like index organized table and partitioning which is supported in the cost based optimizer index fast full scan is nothing but accessing all the rows of an index in parallel that is nothing but multi block approach next is access path are limited to ranking rules there are times where a full table scan is much faster than index scan with table access so this is the same scenario which I have shared in the previous slide. Also, RBO is no longer supported by Oracle and the development has stopped since 10G.